Hi everyone and welcome to Reseller Hosting 101. In this course, I wanna teach you what reseller hosting is and how you can use it to make money. Um, this is our overview video where I'm gonna kinda of go through what you'll learn taking this course. Now this course is 100% free. Regardless, you're a potential customer or a current customer of us at namehero.com or maybe uh, you have a reseller account elsewhere. Uh, making this course available for free just so you know and, and educate yourself a little bit more about reseller hosting and what it is and how you can use it to benefit um, your business. Now, throughout our training center here on namehero.com slash start up. We're going to be having many different courses, not only on reseller hosting, but also on VPS hosting, on WordPress hosting. And then we're also going to talk about marketing and a bunch of other stuff to really help your business. It's our goal on this section of Name Hero to really help you dig into your business and really make more money overall, not just in your product offerings, but really to manage and, and operate your business in a sense that um, you know really increases your overall bottom line. Um, so with that said, let's just jump right on into um, what this course is going to cover. Um, we're going to talk about what is reseller hosting. Um, we're just going to go into the, the different aspects of it because reseller hosting can have a couple different definitions. So we're going to talk about the main definition and, and what it's mainly used for um, and discuss the, the benefits to being a reseller. Um, I'm going to go through how exactly the process works um, so you can see in a nice orderly manner, you know, um, where the service comes from and how you resell it. And, um, and then we're going to talk about reselling other products and services because if you're a reseller web host, web hosting is really just one piece of the, of the pie. There's many other um, avenues and routes you can take um, to reselling to make a lot of money um, with your business. Um, I also want to talk about how to build a long-term asset. Um, reseller hosting is a little bit different than just being an affiliate marketer because you're able to actually retain the business. You're actually creating a business that's going to be long-term. Um, long and then, then in each one of my chapters, we're going to have a moving forward section, which talks about just how to move to the next step, um, so whatever it may be. So in our next step here, um, it would be introduction to web hosting. Um, so kind of each moving forward will catapult into the next thing. Now, when we're talking about um, reseller hosting, um, we obviously want to talk about how to make money from it. So not only do you have a reseller account, but once you have this reseller account, you know, how do you use it and how do you make the most money from? So in this particular chapter, that's what we're going to do is we're going to dig into, you know, how do you make money and how much money can you expect um, from it? Now, this comes to what reseller package do you go with? Now, at Name Hero, this is a question we get very often. Um, you know, we offer different packages, different levels of reselling. Um, so in this particular section, we'll discuss, we'll go through each one, each one of our packages and kind of dissect um, to figure out which one you need for your business and which one um, will give you the most bang for the buck, so to speak. I also want to discuss your niche. Um, when you're reselling web hosting, it's good to pick a niche or a niche, um, depending on where you're from or how you say it. But um, basically, you, you have to determine your target audience. You can't just say anyone that needs web hosting because that's not really defining a niche. And you'll find yourself overwhelmed if you do that. Um, so it's really finding out, you know, who are you going to sell to and what benefits you can offer. I'm also going to talk about, you know, how once you determine your package and your niche, how to set up your account. I'm going to go through the sign up process at Name Hero and you know what you should what you should input in all the um, different text fields and all that um, as well as you know how to make your payment and how you can pay. And after we get through that I want to talk about um, WHMCS. Um, it's called Web Host Manager Complete Solution. It's a piece of software that's going to allow you to automate your business. So we'll, we'll talk much more about that but we're going to cover you know the basics to that. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to make money with um, web hosting, specifically the sales cycle. You know, where does it start and where does it end? So where do you start making money and presenting this to your customers? And kind of what's the cycle and the lifetime value of the customer? And kind of how do you tweak those um, to your benefit? Um, I want to talk about the return on investment. You know, this is a big thing in business. You know, how much money do you have to spend until you start making money? And that's been in my almost 20 years of making money online. ROI has been very important to me um, because I don't come from having millions of dollars of investment capital to start spending. Um, so I've always kind of had to bootstrap every one of my companies um, until I could start making money. So I'm going to teach you about the ROI and reseller hosting, which is um, historically quite high. Um, it doesn't take a lot of investment to really start making money, which is um, one of the major benefits to reseller hosting. 
Um, I want to talk about recurring revenue and you know how you generate that and, and how it's the long-term success key. Um, you know, once you start making money that's recurring, that means it, it, it continues to rebuild. And that's what I like about web hosting is you'll find once you get customers and get people subscribed to your service, as long as they're happy with their, their serv- your service, they will keep paying you. And um, you know, that's a, really the key to a long-term success. I want to talk about now how you how do you get paid. We're going to talk about kind of how how to set up your merchant accounts and um, you know kind of how the money exchanges hands here, how it goes from your customers into your service um, and then back into you. And um, then we want to talk about the cost involved. You know, we we'll talk about ROI, but then you know what cost do you have to have? Well, we know there's a reseller account involved, um, but what other um, cost do you need prepared for? And then, as I said, we'll, each section will cover moving forward to kind of give you some tips and. Um, direction moving to the next step. Um, when we talk about our reseller hosting packages, um, we're going to go through what each package is, um, but what a basic reseller package is versus a VPS. Um, so when you're reselling web hosting, this is why I said in the beginning that there's many different definitions because you, you'll see on NameHero.com we have reseller hosting and then we have VPS hosting. Well, technically, you can resell the VPS as well. So we're going to dive in and determine, or I'm going to show you exactly what the difference is so you can kind of differentiate and uh, make sure you're choosing the right one for your business. Then we're going to go into the features we offer and the features that you can offer your customers, which is a... um, which is a really big benefit. Um, you know, the, the features is, is um, you know, where you really gain your competitive advantage of reseller hosting. And this is something at Name Hero we really, pr- we really pride ourselves on, um, being a very feature-rich web host. Um, we're going to talk about long-term billing and, and ROI. You know, the, what, how much money are you going to make from this long-term billing? And um, you know, kind of re-highlight back on those costs. And then we'll go to the moving forward. When we talk about your niche or niche, however you pronounce it where you're from, um, some of the example ones I'm going to talk about and going to cover is WordPress and web developers. Maybe you're a WordPress developer and you're looking to offer hosting to your customers. Maybe you're a website designer and you're just looking to offer your customers web hosting. We see this a lot at Name Hero. A lot of our um, customers are currently developing websites and are maybe referring their customers um, over to other services. Uh, so instead of doing that, you can retain that revenue yourself. Um, so that's one of the biggest niches out there. But then we're going to talk about targeting small and local businesses, um, internet marketers and advertising agencies, um, you kind of how you can offer this into your marketing plans, especially those that are doing marketing for customers. We're going to talk about offering managed web hosting versus discount web hosting. You know, which one, you know, is tailored to your business. And um, then, of course, we will do the moving forward in that section. Um, when we go through setting up your account, um, we will go through each package and we'll look at which one's best for you. This is on NameHero.com. And we'll, I'm going to show you the exact purchase. And feel free to skip ahead. If, you know, if you're, if you're gun ho and you're ready to go, you can skip ahead um, to the purchase initial sign up. Um, I'm also going to cover how to set up your domain and private name servers. This, uh, um, depending on the package you buy, it, it may or may not come with a free domain registration. Um, but private name servers are required to get your resellers online, so I'll show you how to set those up. I'm also going to highlight how to build your own website and how to install WHMCS. And then, of course, we will do the moving forward. Okay, when we talk about WHMCS, um, we're actually going to go into the basic settings. You know, what, it's one thing just to install it, but it's another thing to start configuring it. While they have a lot of documentation, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the basic settings, you know, how to integrate your reseller account, how to enable and integrate your merchant account, how you get paid, how to integrate your reseller account for your domains so, peop- so your customers can automatically register and transfer domains to you. This is a big one. Um, as well as how to set up packages inside of WHMCS, you know, how to set up the packages that you're going to offer. Okay, so this is going to conclude my introduction overview of our Reseller 101 um, course. Um, When we cover the moving forward section at the end, we are going to talk about how to get your first customers, how to start marketing and advertising your business, what you do about your customer service and support. That's a big thing. You know, a lot of resellers, they say, well, I don't want to offer customer support because I don't know a lot about hosting. So I'm going to tell you and show you the the, the, um, secrets to that. Um, I also want to talk about how to form your own business if you don't already have one, kind of the legal aspects behind that. And I'm also going to reveal the number one key to success in any business, not just reseller hosting. 
Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to let us know, but this is going to be a really good introductory course. Even if you are a current reseller host, I really feel like you'll get value in this. So um, thanks for watching. Um, go ahead and jump right into the first section. Um, you're all set and ready to go.